Hello, it's me again. Uh, I just wanted to come in and show why this one annoyed me so much. So we have a front lines here, right? We have a we have an assault from here. They're going to be uh, we don't know how many there are, but this is our front line. Uh, I die. I think Goosey dies, uh, and then that's just that's just the the site. They have the site now, and now what our team could do, especially from the position they're in, this Yoru could definitely go back and put some pressure on here. The Jet could probably follow the Yoru. They could trade out. They could have. They could set up a superior position here because this position is superior to the, the attacker's position. The attackers have a harder job here. They have to assault from B long, which means that they have all these angles they can come onto. They have to clear all these angles. They have to make Make sure that they uh, have a path of assault. Whereas uh, to hold it off, you just need to like find a good place to pit, to, a good place to look, a good place to a good strategy here, and you have all of your util to cut off the choke point in a way that they can't cut off the other side, unless they have a sage, unless they have you know, unless and less and less. But this front lines. These front lines, as an offender, are meant to be at least somewhat superior positions. It's easy to take sometimes on different maps. However, they are superior positions. They're, def they're defensible positions. So, they have options, right? They have options that could come back through here, and they could be like, Oh, okay, actually, there's no one on site. We should probably go back. That is not what happens here. They all opt for the flank. And I, I just want to note that if it's, a, if, it, there are, if it's a situation where the front lines crumbles, then this is no longer a flank. This becomes the main assault. This becomes a different front lines, which is to say, to outline this, we give them the front line. We give them the defensible position. We trade them that basically for free. Once these people are dead, once I and Goosey are dead, this is this is free to them now because we have given it to them. We have not challenged them. It is, it is defensible and yet uh, empty. So they claim this defensible position, including my wall for however long that stays up. And um, and then our our people have the, the the more difficult job of trying to come in and attack the defensible position, right? They they have given themselves the attacker position and given the given the people who need to be in the defender side to win the defense position. It's just it's an insane thing, and it's always an insane thing when it comes to this place. And you know she's gonna get this kill in this Reina that works out for her. She moves forward, and here's here's one more um here's one more foible coming up here. Watch this. Okay, so we have the okay. Watch the oh. Uh oh, uh oh. So there's someone right here. This jet has to turn left. She has to go, oh no, and go look at this and just challenge them immediately, right? Or dash forward or do a smoke or do something, right? Do something. She has to, oh. Well, okay, she could just get shot in the back of the head, too. You know, that's fine. And like, I don't remember if the Reina wins this. She gets this next kill. Uh, and maybe she wins this, but it really doesn't matter. It's like. It's like, yeah, yeah, you gave yourself a really difficult place to, to bargain from and then and then manage to get it. Like, oh, okay, yeah, you, you solved an impossible puzzle of your own creation is maybe what happens if she wins this. But it's still like, why would you make it so difficult for yourself? Oh, it's so it, it just it just gets me so frustrated.